Welcome back to an episode of Last Order Survival 3 where it's our boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Hope everyone's having an absolutely incredible day. This man needs some help. I will do my star sniperly duty and offer him the greatest of assistance. But hope everyone's having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out, whether that be from the video, bringing you a smile, bringing you a giggle, anything, everything like that. Hopefully you're not being swarmed by a massive zombie horde as your friendly neighbor in Star Slap watches and eats popcorn in the background. Because, yeah, listen, my neighborly duty, I, I don't know how to tell this to you guys, survivors. I'm actually just here for your loot. I like loot. I like it so much. We got a raid lined up as soon as I'm done doing my bikerly duty. Actually, yo, while they do that, I'm actually going to bring my bike over here for the future. Gotta be productive. While they're dying to zombies, I'm bringing my loot, the loot mobile 9000 over here to go in. Oh, I'm getting hungry too. Hopefully someone drops some food. That's right. I, I'm, I'm here to help. I pinky promise survivors. I'm definitely helping. Let's bring the motorcycle over here. But yeah, speaking of which, we are getting a little bit of hunger, so let's go ahead and chow down on that as they go to deal with the next wave of zombies. And as they're dealing with that, what a better time than now to start stealing their stuff. They never seen a thing coming, except they may or may not potentially be kind of a little bit upset because, yeah, yeah, they noticed. Okay, they saw it coming. They got the baseball bats. They got the fists. But unfortunately for them, I got the guns. Now let's try and get the heck out of Dodge because there may or may not be more zombies rolling up and I would personally not like to. Yo, I don't know if y'all noticed. Oh no, that's not good. We do have zombies rolling up over here. Kind of underappreciated feature. You can actually double tap items out of the motorcycles now. That's insane. Also, I gotta drink a metric poop ton of water. Why, you might ask? Well, because I'm about to be siphoning up some gas, too. But as soon as we're done with this, we got a raid lined up that uh, does look a little bit of promising from some preliminary scouting that we were able to knock out. And as this horde approaches us, uh, then on top of that, of course, we're going prison raiding, baby! And our prison raiding expertise only continues to get sharper and sharper because with every passing try, we get a little bit better. We know how to better use the mercenaries how to better do the assault and stealth versions of the prison raid slash robberies and okay i'm just gonna take everything from there that i can and then i just gotta go and no no i don't want to loot dead body no 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 no, no. okay oh i really just don't want to deal with this horde but i do want to deal with loot i love dealing with loot so i'm gonna try and get rid of some of that the main thing i'm looking to do here is actually fill up the rest of these empty water bottles so we got to draw the zombies away from that camp a little bit and then we'll be doing exactly that but uh today after what went down yesterday, we are going to be going for none other than the perfect raid. I want to rob the prison dry. I don't want to leave a dang thing. Ooh, piece of candy left over for them. And I am out of here. But indeed, I do not want to leave a dang thing for the raiders over at the prison. I want to steal everything possible from their little fortified base. Oh, so scary. No. Okay. And two, I spit on your base. I'm about to make your base look like a baby base. It's going to look like a pillow fort when I'm done with it. All right. We're going to cut through it like a hot butter knife through Swiss cheese or but is there, through butter. That's what butter knives go through. I don't, I don't, I don't know why I thought they... Went through cheese for a second. Ah, and before we leave, we gotta get a little uh, strategic vitamin P session in because I need some empty water bottles. And all my water bottles, well, I don't know what they, they just did. They, they're filled with water. I can't explain it. I think there's, I think my base is haunted. There might be like paranormal activity going on because there was water in my water bottles. I'm scared. But yeah, no worries. We exercise the demons known as the water from the water bottles. Just kidding. Water ain't no demon. Water. Oh, it's a magical thing. I am, after all, a proud member of the Hydration Nation, baby. It is something that everyone should be a part of. How do you join? Pretty simple. You got some water near you? No? Well, go get some. You don't have, you do have some water near you? Well, marvelous. Take a sip of that and be a healthy lad in our lassie because water, it's a good thing. Like, you know, like water's good. It keeps you alive. Like nine, like a scientific study show water's good for you. Hello. And it appears that there is a turret. Oh, a rather powerful turret over here. And he is protecting a box. That That is a very suspiciously placed box. I do. Oh, there's an. Oh, my. There's another one. What is with these turrets protecting just very suspiciously placed boxes? I don't know, but I'm intrigued. This looks like. Oh, baby. There's like an entire little section over here. 
we have hello beautiful 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 a chopper over here that i will go ahead and siphon this on up from you love to see it there is also a winchester i guess i'll take that like it's not the best thing in the world but like it'll do uh we'll go and fill that up with a little bit of water fill the rest of that up over there and then we will take these three water bottles for ourselves but uh, we had to come pretty prepared because uh, from some oh i did not want to get on this thing come on bros can't even get off i can get on but i can't get off there you go and now that we're off we are uh back and looking good let's toss that over there but yeah we got this awesome base raid lined up over here after from preliminary scouting it does appear to be pretty promising and uh, oh i'm already seeing some chests through some of these walls to that let's get a little bit of a zoom out it does look to be a pretty large and armored little area but as tempting as some of these little areas outside are there is one that does catch my eye I mean, they're protecting these chests, but like, no one, I just, I think they're bait chests. I think they have to be bait chests. It's a well-established fact. You do not leave your best stuff out and about. And this is a base that looks to be very well established. It has multiple turrets over here. As soon as we get this done, by the way, we are going on that raid. We are taking everything possible from the prisoner or from the prison raiders. So for that reason, I want to hop into this thing over here because that looks like it's going to be a potential room. Bada bing, bada boom. And what you know, what you know, Sonny Jimbo. We got none other than a big old gathering, a chest. Am I intruding on something? Well, I apologize. Ooh, hello. Dang, and speaking of things, dude, what might be an even more promising room that unfortunately does not seem to have a viable path into we have a metal wall over there that we could have maybe gotten into if well metal cutters were actually a thing but in the meantime whoa, it looks like we got a few pretty nifty things already we got some swat armor the best not the best armor but the best armor that you can get out of a raid possible in the game we're collecting a little bit of that there is also some bandages and stuff like that and there is another thing that i do want to actually break into because this little area might have something very very valuable and i do want to explore that before we get to looting up that big old interior room that we got into so without further ado bada bang bada boom another wall bites the dust better now no no gotta mow down a few fast butters and then to the loot room we will go because oh i wish i could get into you too mr safe but you are unfortunately just as locked away as your metal counterparts but over here we got the floater bloater fallen and under his dead body ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba! look at that ladies and gentlemen one of the most rare items in last day on earth and we have managed to no pun intended unearth it that is right the snorkel mask is all ours now let's just go ahead and bloop and bloop and bloop and bloop boop and put a few things away and take a couple things out i don't know i'm just i'm i'm feeling great already this uh, already just from a few of the things we've broken into is treating us well and of course we still got this wonderful interior loot room to get into nothing like an appetizer of loot before the main course the entree of a prison robbery and seriously after like everything that we have been doing we've been slowly learning from successive robberies let's freaking go that's some more swat and some medical supplies but we have been learning from successive robberies kind of how to better do it how to utilize certain mercenaries all that type of jazz and i think that today we might be able to pull off the perfect raid and literally steal everything from the prison so obviously i am looking forward to that but obviously i'm also looking forward to let's go and a couple of tickets dude a full stack of tickets is always a good sign i'm surprised that there aren't more zombies swarming on us because we have been uh, causing a little bit of ruckus here and there and let's go let's go we got the gun chest all opened up uh yeah so you're gonna go actually mm, why don't i actually get a chop out of this thing Boop, there we go that thing's broken now <laughs> and now let's go and grab a few things dude 
We might need to start leaving some things behind. I'm sorry, my precious water. I'm actually gonna use you for gas reasons. Uh, nope. Like, like you, you know what I mean. Like, not the, not the bad type of gas. Like, n like the, you know, like, oh, I ate too many beans, or oh, that breakfast burritos hit me type of gas. Like, no, no, no. I'm talking about the, the fuel, gas. Yeah, we're gonna be taking a few more of those fuel canisters makeshift fuel canisters i should say definitely putting away a few of these things because this is a raid that we got from the raiders so we need to make sure to hide in our chopper the most valuable things because that will actually the raiders do not know what we raided when we hide it in our chopper so then when they ask for their fair share they won't actually be asking for as much as they should be and i like that but I am a bigger fan of everything that we're seeing up in here. I'm sorry, military armor. Like, there are better things to be grabbed right about now. And, dude, that's a lot of quality SWAT armor that we are getting. Let's make our way into the next chest over here. We still got plenty of noise to fandangle with. And, wow! Let's go! One scar! And was that a VSS in there I saw? I don't know. Was that a VSS too? Okay, well, it is a very broken VSS, but mainly one full of dirt. My English is hard. One full durability scar coming right up. And oh, what's that? My shirt is gone. Well, good thing that there's plenty of armor to spare and go around in this wonderful, wonderful location. Mm -mm -mm, that's oh my god. It's the gift that keeps on giving. All right, well, let's start using these hatchets a little bit more because obviously we need all the inventory room that we can possibly get. Oh, that's low key nice too. The football helmet is a really nice touch because that is also one of the rarer items in the game. Goodbye, band-aids. Goodbye, wood. We are picking up better things, but that's actually a pretty rare item. Like, you can't normally get it through normal means. Dude, we got white paint over here. That's normally pretty rare. I have a lot of white paint, however, so I do not need to grab that, but otherwise, I would advise grabbing that. White paint can definitely be a pain in the bum to acquire. Let's continue breaking through a few of these chests. Let's freaking go. There is no short supply of any of this bro oh my goodness okie dokie well 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 let's go and break through this is this is this gonna be the last chest that we can break into before the wrath of the big one is summoned i am not sure that's kind of the situation here that i'm fearing but first i want to capitalize and hopefully just like grab absolutely as much as possible and as we are just continue getting more and more from this raid like Oh, I wish there was some yellow paint, though. I could really go for some yellow paint. That is the one thing that I'm really, really lacking in right now back at home, which is a little bit of a heartbreaker. But also, I do have, I have a lot of green tickets back at home. Actually, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the partial stack of med kits away. I'll take the full stack, but I'm putting the partial stack away. I will grab that. Um... When, if push comes to shove, I might get rid of the stack of yellows too, because, yeah, like, I, ju I just have so many yellow tickets back at home already. Like, don't get me wrong, green and yellows are really good, but I just have, like, hundreds of green and yellow tickets back at home because of how much rating that I do, and if anything... Like, I just, like, it's just gonna be a matter of time before I can redeem them. Like, I already have so much. So, I'm not gonna focus on grabbing those at the moment. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, okay. So, I might want to go and reorganize the stuff they did put away. But as we are doing that, let me know what y'all do think of today's prison robbery shenanigans. And I do would love to hear from y'all as well. If you have potentially managed to do the improbable, nay, so far the impossible for me which is pull off a perfect prison heist. I'd love to hear from y'all in that comment section down below about that. And hmm, also how your rating luck has been. Hopefully the raids have been treating y'all well. I'm always wishing y'all nothing but the best of luck during these types of raid and shenanigans. And I'll go in and pick that up for the time being. Eh, not yeah, I, I like medkits more than those. It's just like, like I'm saying, if you, if y'all find this, definitely take these tickets. But in my situation, I already have hundreds, if not over a thousand of each of those tickets that I just need to redeem at this point. But uh, if I break this, we still got a little bit more noise to go. And nothing too incredible there. Although, I'm not going to lie. I, I kind of want to grab the reinforced armor because I do need that for raids. But at the same time, I don't want to leave behind all of this freaking SWAT armor. Speaking of things I can leave behind, honestly, I might end up leaving behind the turkey. No, that, that's going to feed our dogs for so long. This is, this is a tough situation, bro. 
All right, let's just break through this last thing and let's see what happens because the big one is about to be summoned and oh baby, we got a nicer hat over there. Yeah, I'm sorry, football helmet. You are about to break and the big one's about to appear. So I'm out of here. And with that, you got a pretty wonderful raid. The appetizer for what is about to be a very epic gamer moment in prison raid with the help of the metal cutter dude and the pickup truck fella and i'm sorry dealer now is not your time we're making our way to the biker's base we're gonna chat him up we're gonna get this thing underway i'm probably making a pit stop off at home to actually drop off some loot and stuff but yeah it's time to set these wheels in motion get it wheels so we're like we're, we're a biker gang i'm part of the bikers so like bikes have wheels <laughs> I'm a comedian, what can I say? But let me know how the raids have been treating y'all and what y'all have been thinking of these prison robberies and all that. And especially, I'd love to hear if you have been able to pull off or like what's been the best raid that you've been able to pull off? Have you been able to pull off a perfect raid? What's the most crates that you've gotten out? Have you been able to do a stealth raid but successfully without being noticed? Like any and all that, what are the robbery that you are most proud of? I would absolutely love to hear in that comment section down below. And reminder that that comment is gonna put you one third of the way. It's the weekly $25 extra session place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure the like button make sure to subscribe that makes sure you went on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on this video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway but enough of that it's raiding time lads and all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it is now time after yesterday's i'm not gonna say failure but after yesterday's uh, situation, we have brought back Bill the Metal Cutter and Johnny D, the pickup truck guy. We have completed everything we need to get a stealth mission underway. We are about to complete, hopefully, the perfect robbery. We are not going to be noticed once if everything goes according to plan. And then on top of that, we want to try and get 12 out of 12 boxes. This is not going to be an easy task. But it is a task that we are going to try our darnest to do. Let's start making our way over to the prison. We brought our chopper with us. We hopefully got plenty of weaponry to get the job done. We got our pistols here to help us clear through the beginning waves of zombies. Hopefully, if all goes according to plan, we will not be detected by any raiders. And then we can save our Kalashnikov and M16 for dealing with the zombies at the end that are going to be swarming us as we try and load up our beautiful pickup truck with all 12 crates and if we can pull this off we are about to get a crazy amount of patches y'all can see that if we do this stealthfully the stealthful way always gets you an extra 20 seconds so we are going to have a little bit more time than last time because last time we went guns a blazing so on top of that we might be able to save a little bit of weapon durability and also can i park this over there bro really oh beautiful nailed it so hopefully our bike will not move because sometimes your bike will like despawn and move to, like when you do move in this stuff obviously we want to make sure to open up these gates before things do go underway just so we're gonna have those ready to go and we're gonna have a tw two minutes and 20 seconds to load up all of the choppers including ours and only then do we need to load up the pickup truck. Because last time I accidentally loaded up the pickup truck when I was actually just trying to, like, put some stuff down because I was panicking so hard. So if all goes according to plan, we've definitely picked up on a few lessons. We've learned how to do the stealth raid. We've learned, like, we learned how to do the stealth raid the most properly. We have learned how to, uh, whatchamacall, how to actually do the end, like, a chest loading at the end the most properly with the help of the pickup truck guy and uh, other dude McGee. The, the, the metal cutter guy which does actually allow us access to all 12 potential crates so if all goes according to plan we're gonna wipe this prison clean we are gonna take everything every single piece of loot out of the prison and they gonna be none the wiser because if all goes according to plan, we will sneak right past them as if nothing had occurred. But first, we got to shoot our way past a few swamp zombies chilling down here in the sewers. Oh, we got the tainter and we got the swamp zombie. Luckily, we're making some quick work out of these dudes. Let's deal with you and then, oh, let's get a little bit of separation. Slow-mo the swamp loader. I'd like to make sure that we don't get hit at all if possible. Just so, what should I call? We can save all of our armor durability for the end, and we are about to be climbing our way up into stealthy territory. So let's go ahead and change into our disguise. I don't know if this matters, but I've heard that apparently having your gun out will make you more likely to be detected. I don't know if that's actually true, but I, I just listen. I want this to go perfectly anyways. So 
you know, if all goes according to plan, we're not going to need a gun anyway. So, I don't know. I'm just not going to have the gun out. Worst case, it is going to be there in our secondary pocket and we'll be able to whip it out. I don't know if this is confirmed, if it makes you more likely to be noticed or not, but I don't care. I will take every, like, a freaking... I'll do every voodoo magic ritual imaginable to try and make out of this the proper way. So here we go. We'll go ahead and get a little bit of a zoom out over there. We got that dude on patrol. We're going to wait for him to zoom past that way. And then we are going to sneak right past them. Also, a little bit of a nifty trick when you are doing it the stealthful way. <coughs> when you get to the part where you start opening doorways and stuff, you actually want to hold onto the crouch button in the bottom right-hand corner. It will, uh, I don't know. It, it'll, like, prevent you from accidentally standing up after you open a door. Because one of the times that we failed the stealth mission, that's actually the exact way that it happened. For now, we are waiting for that person to continue walking a little bit. And then we will sneak past you. This guy over here is going to make a comment about us when we do walk past him. But we just got to keep on walking. And he's none the wiser. And alrighty then. This is the part where we want to start holding the crouch button. You, you all, just to clarify, you already have to be crouching, and then once you are already crouching, you start holding the crouch button. You do not want to let go of this thing. You just want to keep on holding. We're going to go ahead and open this doorway right over here. That person's going to be on patrol over there. We're going to walk right past Gristle, who, I don't know, is like looking after food and stuff. He is the kitchen chef guy, and we're going to walk right past that and just continue sneaking. And beautiful, we've already gotten past the first tricky part. Now, the next tricky part... Oh, it requires a little bit of good timing because there are multiple people on patrol that are kind of sort of really annoying and we want to time this perfectly. But uh, y'all can see that there is that person over there that just walked through that door on the top left hand corner. Y'all can see on the radar, he is the red arrow that's a little bit closer. He, last time we did this raid, he actually wasn't there, which made it a little bit easier. But long story short, we, do, we cannot go the way that he's going. We need to go into that northern area with the prison cells, and I'm going to try to wait for their paths to kind of correspond, if that makes sense. Because the guy up in the north, right, he's actually on, he's patrolling like the prison cell blocks. So I'm going to wait for this fellow over here to turn around. And then that guy, you'll see what I'm talking about here. It's just a little bit hard because I'm like holding onto this crouch button over here super hard, right? And then, okay, I'm going to go ahead and walk this way. No one is aware of what I am doing here. And then we're going to continue walking over this way. And beautiful, beautiful. He is indeed none the wiser. You love to see it. And then this person over here might actually be turning around in just a second. When he does do that, I'm going to be ready as soon as his name pops up at the top of the screen to spam. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. I hid my way into there. The one person may have noticed us. Maybe. I, I don't entirely know. Oh, no. Oh, okay, so yeah, one person didn't notice us. We didn't do it 100% perfect, but the good news is, is, if, is if that person notices you, no one else notices you. So we managed to pull off this thing right last time. I waited a little bit too long to hide into the cell. That is something that you do have to be a little bit concerned with, so I did not play it right there. I played it right the last time, but... We only had to fight one person. We got past everything, which still makes this an, an incredibly cheap way of doing the prison raid. And now we're going to have two minutes and 20 seconds to load 12 crates into a lot of choppers and a lot of, I mean, and the pickup truck, but mainly a lot of choppers. So as soon as we open this, we got to go, got to go, got to go, 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 got to go. Oh, no, no, no. What I should actually do. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Dude, okay, that, that was laggy. I was going to try to switch to having like the sprint skill active. Honestly, that's another good thing you can do is you can have the sprint skill active that will allow you to run and stuff. It's honestly something that I should have done, but we're going to have so much time. I think that we should still be okay. And I don't want to like my game literally lag like at the worst time possible. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go and shoot some of the people because some of these zombies will single handedly focus on us. We're going to take out those zombies specifically, and we're going to start bringing some of these crates back outdoors before the next wave of zombies does appear, because usually they do come in waves. So beautiful. Well, it's not beautiful that this wave of zombies is appearing, but it is appearing, so we'll take this opportunity to go ahead and drop some stuff off. Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit there while we take these guys out. The guy is loading up the pickup truck on his own accord, which is incredible news, because that will save us a little bit of time. We still have a lot of time, by the way, to go. I'm going to drop this thing off, because we are about to get swarmed by zombies over here, and after those are done we're gonna go ahead and grab this thing back up so whenever you see a wave of zombies coming in like be ready to drop this and just start packing things up you know we still got a minute 20 over here we aren't even halfway done we've loaded up three crates so absolutely beautiful execution thus far and this person is still helping us by loading up the pickup truck all that we're gonna have to do is load up two more crates we might need to help them 
load his pickup truck near the end but you don't want to load anything into the pickup truck until the end like absolutely positively not that is just a recipe for disaster oop let's go and toss that thing over there because as soon as the pickup truck is done that person's gonna stop helping out you do not want that to happen you want him to help out absolutely as much as possible he's got 48 seconds over here i don't want to jinx it but things are looking freaking millhouse bro like things are looking good here and there's someone oh my god just getting into a freaking tussle over there all we gotta do is bring this back to our chopper here at the bottom oy vey i can't place that over there that's very unfortunate let's put that down because there's zombies freaking swarming me my guy and let's go we still got 27 seconds that last crate is being loaded up and y'all have just witnessed none other than a perfect raid haul with time to spare I got a little bit of time here to lollygag about, oh, look at me, look at me, raiders. I took all of your stuff. And if it wasn't for that dude at the end noticing us, it would have been literally flawless. But I mean, all things considered, it was still pretty freaking perfect. We did mess up that execution at the end a little bit slightly, but the good news is, is that he doesn't alert everyone. You only have to battle that one bone breaker. So it's like, it still went extremely well. It is possible to sneak past them. We've done it before, but it is also possible to mess that part up. But we have done it. All 12 crates we brought back, and as a reward, 130 patches with a bike are ours. The maximum haul possible to get from the prison raid we have just gotten. And if we start pulling off the prison raid like this every single time, I just gotta say that that backpack at the gas station is gonna be ours in absolutely no time. It requires 700 of these patches with a bike. At this rate, we'll have it done within a few more prison raids tops. So incredible news, if you ask me. Ah, and there you ladies and gentlemen have it after a triumphant trip to the bathroom, after an even more triumphant trip to the prison the conclusion of today's episode is here thank you everybody for tuning on and i obviously appreciate the bejesus out of it when we return we still get to call in some technical support we still have another raider to hire but i am so stoked that today we were able to literally steal everything from the prison and obviously plenty more season seven the season of robbery shenanigans yet to come especially maxing out this battle pass checking out some of that brand new armor over there and the very cool i like there's still definitely some stuff we gotta check out about season seven but uh yeah that's gonna let us start wrapping it up for me for now thank you guys a whole ton for watching have so an awesome one and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya